Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to episode 14 of this Let's Play Rome Total War as Carthage campaign. Uh, where we left off last episode in the Guarding the Borders episode, uh, we uh, we were on the defensive for a lot of it. I mean, we are finally making good progress here in uh, Iberia, and uh, uh, I think it's Spinspur or Spearspur, or uh, the YouTuber commented, yeah, I should be guarding these mountain passes at this point. Uh, you are correct on that one. Uh, it took me a little longer to get to that point than I would have initially liked to, uh, but I am definitely in a position now where I can have forces uh, guarding these borders. Ideally, what I want to do is I want to go take this settlement, uh, Narbo Martius, uh, take this settlement, probably put a fort right here, and with a watchtower sort of up there, and uh, we can mail and monitor uh, what, you know, and stop armies passing through this region, um, using this fort as a, uh, or using this city as a defense, because uh, armies cannot march this way because the river blocks them. They have to come through this uh, pass here. Um, so honestly, what I could do actually is just put a fort like right here, and that would guard armies from the north, and the city would guard armies from the east, and that would basically be how... That's how I'm planning on defending Iberia as opposed to having one, two, three separate entry points. We can have two that are also within reinforcement range of each other here. Like I could take... A, you know, armies can move this little distance here in one go. So, that's my plan on that front. Um, also, I've been getting a lot of comments, and you know, I, I mean, a couple comments, but like when I'm getting, you know, two to four or five comments per video on this campaign, uh, and I'm getting you know, multiple of those about elephants, that's a lot of comments, that's a high percentage. So yeah, we, uh, we're gonna need to move these guys out. These war elephants are, as one of you put it, the most expensive town watch units. Um, that I have so we will be activating them this video. Uh, that was an oversight on my part uh, Don't worry. We're gonna get them going um, All right first and foremost, let's Go one region at a time. So I am like I said last video uh, preparing to defend uh, Numantia here um, with you know as a defensive battle uh, their forces are largely weak. Uh, they don't really have a strong force I do have a lot of cavalry um, and I have a good amount of skirmishers, so my goal here will be to do a strategy where I move the cavalry outside the walls, take out a few of the lone units that are guarding battering rams, meanwhile my skirmishers and Iberian infantry will be guarding the rams that do uh, reach the wall. Um, hopefully I could, with my bulk of cavalry, I can take out their general, that would be ideal. Um, my yeah, we got, then we have this Britain army here. Uh, again, it's just an infantry force, fairly small. Um, something that we should definitely be able to take out, and I think we can go ahead and do that. Uh, I would actually, we yeah, we desperately need some retraining here first. Actually, uh, now that I look at it, so that's actually how we're we're gonna do that uh, right off the bat. Like I can't even combine some of these units because it'll just it'll just get rid of the unit. Um, yeah, we're gonna we desperately need to retrain, so we're gonna go and do that here first. Uh, we'll definitely. Get, make sure we get the cavalry back up, and then yeah, we can recruit in an additional unit here. Um, that might be smart. Let me let me check really quickly. What do we have in terms of mercenaries? Just just Spanish and barbarian. Not really any particularly great units. So I will recruit. Let's say an additional uh, round shield here. Um, yeah, Palma. Yeah, we might. I would love to have a general. There. We've got Britain navies all over the place. Uh, we're definitely losing the naval advantage, but again, it's just a, you know, my finances have definitely been a bit of a struggle this game, but, okay, Tingi is looking pretty solid. Uh, absolutely, Corduba, 80% uh, with normal tax rates. Yes, Squalor will always play a role here. Um, no doubt about that. We got the Temple of Ball. We could always upgrade that. Secret Police HQ will help. Um, I might, I was thinking, yeah, I might do a ship right here. Doesn't really uptrade that much, honestly. Um, yeah, maybe we let's get a blacksmith going. Uh, maybe we can get some higher quality troops there. And uh, yeah, okay. So I think I'm gonna actually hold off on attacking this Britain army this turn, but I do want to keep them sandwiched in if possible, uh, within reinforcement range from the city, uh, and then we can we can take them out. This force, I think, will attack me this turn. They have enough. Rams that I don't think they're gonna wait any longer. Um, in case they do, I have five more turns that settlement can hold out. So I'm not at the brink yet. Uh, okay, what do we have down here? We got a rebel navy. 
around my navy with two Julii navies. A lot going on there. Um, these Julii navies are not small. They're actually three ships each. I, I, I'm going to actually just move around them into the Carthage port. Uh, we're going to give my ships a nice retraining here. And uh, we'll recruit in an additional trireme. Uh, Syracuse. I think I've got enough Sacred Man for the time being. Let's go pick them up. Uh, we want to bring those guys into... Yeah, that's what we were doing here. We want to bring those guys into the... Um, into the Italian theater. Uh, but because we don't have any movement points on the... You know, we don't have any movement points on the Navy this turn. We're going to we're gonna wait. Because uh, I don't want to just leave them going over on the Navy for the one turn. Um, yeah, here in Croton, you know, why don't we get a Peasants going for public order reasons? Uh, that's all the money we really have. Uh, I could move out a force to just go kind of knock out that rebel force there. Do I have any spies in this region? It would actually be helpful to bring in spy. I do have a spy in Aretium. Uh, he might be able to get a look. Um, let's take this guy and move it. We'll guard, take a look at this pass. Yeah, so there's, you could just kind of leave him there. Um, this is a spy. Yeah, we, so we have a spy in Kaidonia. This is going to be moving um, once the ships are repaired. I serve your the ruin. spy in northern Spain. I serve your ruin. Yes, the spy over here in Siwa. Go ahead and just keep hanging out in, in, the, in Siwa. Um, and then we got uh, two assassins. Really? Yeah, two assassins in northern Italy. Oh, we actually got a trait in Greece for one of my spies. That's very nice. Um, Alright, let's take a look. We got 11% success rate for the family member. That's not great. Uh, 14. I'm trying to look like a 6% chance. This is my better one, right? Yeah, see, 22 for him. 40% chance for this family member. I like those odds. Let's take it. Uh, mission six. Jeez, this assassin is incredible. I think he's hit like three or four pretty, you know, kind of on the low percentage side. Um, assassination missions. I mean, this guy is just... Awesome, and let's see if I can't get a 72% because this guy needs just some XP. Uh, mission success. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna try to get this guy some. He didn't actually gain any traits, but um, we're gonna try to get this guy a little bit of uh, a little bit of trait. Yes, he, had, he had one. Look, look at the difference in the um, abilities here uh, between these agents. Yeah, this guy has taken out at least three now. Uh, Julii generals. That's a bunch of family members to wipe out, and so that's uh, that's going great. Um, that's going great there. And then, yeah, we do have. We do have a bit of men outside the city here. That's fine. They can they can be positioned for the time being. Uh, why don't we actually? Yeah, let's get um, let's get this guy. Yeah, maybe we take the spy. Can I get a can I get a line of sight on him if we take the spy out of Aretium for the turn? Yeah. Okay. There we go. We got a militia hoplite. We got two hoplites units, a town watch, and an equites. Okay, so we can't just take cavalry with us. Um, why don't we take a hoplite unit of our own? Both unit of Peltists. Some Cav. And, uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We will take these guys. Let's go hit them. Alright, they retreated. Yeah, we'll go and take them out. Oh, yeah, we definitely will hold the advantage here. Um, but, you know, we've always got to be careful with hoplite units. We'll get a nice long hoplite here with our... Um, with our sacred bands. And get our peltists right behind them. Get some nice shots in. And then we'll guard each flank of our hoplite. That's why I brought two infantry units. With my normal infantry. And then general and cavalry. Why don't we get you out on a flank? And we'll do our usual fast forward, and I'll probably fast this, uh, fast forward this in the editing as well, um, as my troops move into a position that I like. Okay, my guys are pretty much in position. Any second now. There we go. All right, let's group them, and then yeah, we can we can run the rest of this distance, and uh, yeah, we don't need to. Fast forward the video anymore. Yeah, we'll get cavalry out on the flanks, please. They don't have any range, so uh, we'll use that to our advantage. And here everyone should come together in position. Skirmishers, why don't you spread out slightly? Get you off skirmish mode as well. They forgot to do that before. You guys, activate your spears in the center. 
and then we will take the group and we will march them forward. Let's go. Cav, yeah, they're using, definitely using the, uh, alright, there we go, the normal hoplites just activated, yeah, they're, the town watch and the cavalry are very susceptible, oh, okay, their cavalry ran away from mine. Let's get my cavalry across, see if we can't, uh, go hit them. Yeah, we'll go in and we'll we'll make contact with their cab. They kind of like moved them away from mine, but left them pretty vulnerable. And we can get one of my with my Libyan spearmen unit in here as well, hitting them from the backside. Uh, there they go. They routed, um, and just because they routed towards their, I'm gonna pause really quick. I don't want my men running in towards their hoplites uh, to chase the the general's cab. So we're gonna we're gonna make sure to pull my men out of there. There we go. And yeah, we can put my cavalry behind. And we'll let my Peltus take some shots here. I mean, they're they're throwing some spears in. Um, right at the, the center strong hoplite unit, which is, uh, which is good. And we'll let them just... Uh, oh, that is... Okay, I was going to say we'll let them use their uh, ammo, but that was their ammo. So you guys get out of there. No need to take unnecessary casualties. And... Um, hoplite, let's move forward. And let's try to get some guys out here on the flanks. So you spearmen, why don't you advance that direction? And yeah, it looks like we uh, they're going to take care of the town watch. You guys get past. You guys go right into their hoplites, please. And we're going to loop these guys around the side as well. Try to hit these hoplites from the side. You guys do the same thing. Libyan spearmen, everyone advance in. Hit that hoplite. They routed immediately. All right, you guys turn then and uh, try to fight the militia hoplite. Yeah, they're routing, but they're they're routed. It says they're routing, but they're still fighting. I, I that doesn't. I don't really understand what happened there. All right, there we go. They're they're all done. Go chase after them. Uh, that was very strange. It said they routed, but they actually kept fighting my men. Um, very annoying because I took a lot of unnecessary casualties. Okay, yeah, so they weren't routing. That was a that was definitely a glitch. Um, they they weren't routing, so I moved my hoplite out of position, and they took a lot of unnecessary damage um, because I thought they were routing and they wouldn't do any damage to me. But that's uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, a bit annoying, but uh, not the end of the world. We'll we'll be okay. All right, victory for that army. Uh, they don't have a lot of movement points left, but let's get them moving back towards the city. Um, we might pick up a Militia Hoplites just for city defense purposes. Um, and there's actually okay, good to know there's a general over here that maybe uh, my really skilled assassin can uh, can make a move on next turn. So we'll move him over there. This other assassin moves back kind of more towards the middle. And, um... Yeah, solid positioning. Uh, I do want to get those Cretan archers in as well. Yeah, we're retraining and adding a ship. And what we'll do is we'll ferry the Cretan archers. Um, the Cretan archers from the town as well as... Oh, that's a diplomat. Uh, we'll drop the diplomat over here and get the Cretan archers into the Italian sector uh, right away. So I think that pretty much covers this turn. Um, I've moved my fleets to where I want them. That the ferry fleet can just stay put. Um... Oh, right. Okay, wait. We do have some guys down here in Africa. Right. Okay, I almost forgot about these guys. So, let's make sure that we... Yeah, we're, we can take care of that with our... What do we have with mercenaries? We do have a lot of options for mercenaries, but... We can go ahead and take care of that force. Almost forgot about those guys that are just kind of rebel hunting. Alright, this is a cavalry-only force, so... We can run it and run it pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, their men are up here on the hill... We'll just get my guys in the position. Um, we should just be able to go smack right into this force. Uh, it is... What do we have here? Yeah, we got a... Just Iberian infantry, a Peltis, and a town militia. Yeah, pretty easy. Let's just charge right in. With a big charge, we should get the break on them. 
and then the skirmisher should run and uh, you know from skirmish mode and yeah I think we'll be we'll be all good here. General, stay off the front lines. There we go, immediate routes, just what I was hoping for. Push through, push through. And let's see if I can't get the route on the town watch as well. And uh Nah, sort of. I mean I could go back and use a I was gonna say I could go back and use a uh, charge bonus again, but yeah, why don't we do that? I mean, they kind of held the line a little bit better than I thought they would there. Go ahead and turn around and charge back into them. That should route them. There we go. Cavalry, uh, take care of uh, take care of the skirmishers as well. Yeah, we got there. You got there, general. And now it's just uh, chase down the routers for a split sec, and that'll be that. Is that the last guy? Yeah, there we go. We lost 49. It's okay. Alright, victory. This force is definitely kind of hurting now. Uh, again, though, I mean, this force is it should be pretty easy to take out with just cavalry. Uh, I might pick up something. Um, I do want to eventually, you know, I would like to turn this army this direction. Uh, why don't we, for this turn, actually, let's pop down here, and uh, next turn we'll build a watchtower there before going off after the other rebels. There is a rebel force here as well. Um, we don't really have a force in Dimity that can kind of take that out, so uh, we will figure out what to do there. But uh, this maybe should be able to, yeah, should be able to take out the Britain forces. There we go, one sunk. And the next one, hopefully we get a sink too. Nope. No sinky, just to run. A retreat. But we can leave our navy here to block any Britain forces from passing into uh, the Mediterranean. Um, obviously, we're going to have to go take care of those at some point too. But I think, let's go next turn, and I believe I'll be doing the city defense of Numantia here. Um, let us see how that happens. Uh, a couple troop movements from the Julii. Yep, there we go. Uh, and I'm actually not favored to win this, which is surprising. I thought I was actually in a pretty good position. Um, but we'll jump in. Start deployment. Alright, let's see how they're set up. Um, kind of how I expected. Yeah, a lot of rams. Uh, some kind of lone rams out here that are going to be pretty easy to pick off with cavalry. Uh, we got swordsmen, spearmen. What do we got over here? This one looks tiny, tiny unit. Uh, peasants. Yeah, that one's going to be easy. So, I mean, what I could do... Well, first and foremost... Let's get all my men just out of the front lines. It's easier to set up. So, I have a lot of cap. Um, they have a general's chariot, um, which, uh, and an archer's chariot. Yeah, here's their general's heavy chariot. You can see there's no archers on it, and that's their light chariots. Archers, light chariots will melt to cavalry. Um, the general's one, won't, not so much. Uh, so I, okay, first and foremost, cultist units. Cultist units, you guys, job will be, oh no. Oh, I thought the game was about to crash. Oof. Your guys' job will be to rain fire down on the advancing uh, the advancing troops, especially, you know, the ones going to the gatehouse, especially. Um, I think I'm going to be able to take out this side. I'm going to... So, my, my debate here is do I want to... Um, do I want to split up my cavalry? Uh, on two sides, like half there um, and half there, and sweep through both directions. Or do I want to just use them as one big bulk of cav and just run together? And I think, um, oh, there actually isn't a gate on, ooh, there's, the gate's way back here. I think um, because of the situation with regard to, oh my god, look at that, yeah, because of the situation with regard to uh, the enemy, um, chariots, I don't, I want to move my guys in one big mass, because it's one mass we can take out their chariots, but if their chariots are able to pick us off, like, this side I could move half my cavalry out this side and go after these troops while the rest of mine are over here, but then they're super vulnerable to the chariots coming in. So I'm just going to move them in one mass this direction, uh, meanwhile I'm going to guard the walls on this side, uh, to the rams, because I think that's where the rams will be more likely to break through, uh, due to... Just very simply, you know, that's just being where uh, my cavalry will not be positioned. So, 
Um, that's why I have all. That's why I have my infantry and my uh, peltists here positioned more on this right side, and my cav positioned out here on the left. Start battle, and let's immediately race my cavalry out of the city as quick as they can go and get out there. Because I think I'm going to be able to take out these rams before they break through the walls. So. Yeah, Peltis and everyone should be in good position to do some damage as these troops are on their way in. Cavalry is uh, is feeding out. It takes a second because of this bulk here at the gatehouse, but uh, they are they are making their way through. And we'll just tell my cavalry immediately go after those barbarian peasants because that's a pretty easy easy troop to go take out. I don't need my whole bulk of cavalry ready to go for that. Um. Skirmishers back up a little bit so you get a better angle over the walls. Yeah, this side over here, they're probably going to pop through. Let's move skirmishers slightly. Yeah, cavalry took out that first ram pretty much with no problem. Actually, they haven't routed yet, surprisingly. All my cab is now outside the city. There they go. There they've routed. All right, Cav, let's get you. We got a minute. Rams haven't reached the wall yet, so let's form up the cavalry. Look at this bulk of Cav just coming out of here. Yeah, we're gonna form up the cavalry. Just want to get them all in the position if I can. But uh, let's take you guys after the warband. You guys after the swordsmen. Looks like they're moving a swordsman unit. Ah, that ram was shot down. All right, some rams have now reached. The walls, uh, the Peltists are throwing their spears. Okay, we got a route there. Let's charge in on that swordsman unit. Should be pretty straightforward. You guys charge in on the warband. We need to make our way down this stretch as fast as possible. Come on, guys. Yeah, this ram is walking its way over, but it, okay, it looks like it was shot. It was destroyed, or it's about to be destroyed. Alright. Alright, these guys are, are holding up against our cavalry here much better than the other units. Let's see if I, I just need to break one and then move all the way over to the other. I mean, what the heck? This is a swordsman unit surrounded by cavalry. They got it. They should be dropping. I mean, they should be routing. Come on now. Jeez. Alright. There we go. There, they finally routed. Alright, here come chariots. Let's move my cavalry back. Alright, those are light chariots, actually. We should, should be able to knock them out pretty quick. Can we get them? Yeah, we're taking heavy, heavy uh, cavalry um, casualties here, but we are wiping out a large bulk of their force uh, in the process, so that's okay. Um... The main gatehouse was knocked down. Spear throwers are still throwing their spears, which is exactly what I want them to do. Cavalry, let's get you positioned fully and formed up now. Um, because I don't want you caught off guard. I'm thinking of just doing a massive charge at their general here. Because uh, I don't think I can win this infantry fight. I'm going to need to take out their general. Yeah, this is this unit. Look at this huge damage from the tower. Um, this unit over, this guy's over here, yeah, I think their guys are gonna do better against me. Okay, their general's charging me, I want to attack them, but the animations are making that kind of tough. We're just gonna, we're gonna kamikaze charge their, uh, their general and hope for the best. Alright, we got the route on them immediately. Alright, that, that was ideal. And there goes their general. That's gonna be huge for enemy troop morale. Um, cavalry now, we are gonna support our infantry by hitting these guys from behind. Infantry... Your job is to uh, is to hold the walls, first and foremost. You're going to have to do your best here until the cavalry support gets to you. So cavalry is getting in position. Let's get a couple units here. Uh, what is this here, a warband? A couple units go hit that warband. You guys go hit them. You guys go help them out. Yeah, there we go. We got the route there. Oh, they're all starting to route. Lovely. It's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, we're gonna hold the uh, 
we should be able to hold here pretty well. Yeah, Cavalry's now hitting these guys from behind. They're routing. All right, we got the win. These guys here, they're almost all routing. Boom. All right, there they go. Well done, guys. Well done. All right, General, go take that unit out. You guys, go take that unit out. You guys, go take that unit out. You guys, take that unit out. We're just going to keep going after the routing units here. Uh, yeah, most of these guys were just smothered in the, in the gate entryways, so uh, pretty much a perfectly, uh, perfectly fought situation there for us. Couldn't have gotten much better. Couldn't have gotten much better at all. Sweet. And, uh, oh, we got a unit over there still. Uh, forgot about those guys. Why don't we go take them out? How are these guys doing? Yeah, keep chasing down the swordsmen. We've got units chasing down all these units over here. Alright, perfect. Let's, uh... Yeah, all this cav. What do we got over here? Just a small unit. Small unit of warband trying to knock down the wall. Unfortunately, I'm not going to let them do that. Well, oh, fortunately for me, but... Unfortunate for them. Please go finish off those swordsmen. Yeah, I don't want those swordsmen reaching the edge. Seven guys. Can't let them escape. Come on. I know these guys are all exhausted, but... Your cavalry, you should be able to chase them down. What's our damage to the wall at? 44? Yeah, we got... You got time. Yeah, we got time. Jeez, yeah, these guys might actually make it out. Yeah, my cavalry are barely moving it at all. Alright, you guys, go hit them before that wall's done. And this should be an instant route. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't even, they routed before it even, uh, before it even hit them. So they're done. Did we catch these guys? Oh my gosh, they're going to escape? No, no, they're not. No, they're not. we got them. Come on. Get them. There we go. Ooh, all right. A lot of cavalry fighting. We definitely took some casualties, but, uh... Yeah, my cavalry, the bulk cavalry did their job against the, uh, against the Britain chariots. It's exactly, exactly what we wanted. And fi <laughs> finally, uh, after God knows how long, uh, Iberia is secure. It does not have any en enemy armies in it. I mean, we got that one right there, but they're on the border and we're about to take them out. Um, whew. Oh, Capua got its port. Nice. That'll make, that'll make this city a lot more cash, a lot more money. Uh, faction announcements, new family member, most advanced faction, end of turn report, made a little bit of profits. Enemy army routes, Theatocles the Wrathful, you are done. Sire, nice, alright. The spy, we can move you back into Erechium. Can't make it? Okay, no that's fine. Moves, uh, this is my good, uh, yeah, good assassin. We got a 43% chance, 25% chance. We're gonna, uh, we're just kind of take out as many of these, uh, Julii Generals as we can, so... Why don't we go after that 43% chance? No! And I lo- okay, it was too good to be true. Hamilcar, Sabratha, my really good assassin, uh, unfortunately was killed during his assassination attempt. Um... That is admittedly... <laughs> really frustrating and so did the other one. Alright, so, uh, yep, yeah, two assassins, uh, dead in one turn, and that's that with the assassins. Okay, that's, that's annoying, but what are you gonna do? Um, really, really annoying. First and foremost, I, I kind of forgot about this. Let's start getting these pointy infantry going. These guys are gonna be my new, uh, front line against the Romans. Um... But we can also go and take out this force that's going to be really, yeah, really susceptible to, uh, really susceptible to cavalry. Uh, we'll take our general with us. Um, or what are we lacking in this army? Uh, we got yeah, we're, we're not really lacking anything. Let's go, uh, we'll take this guy out. <sighs> Where are they set up? Alright, right in the center. Iberian infantry. Weak front line. But, uh, our front line, nonetheless. 
Yeah, well, I, I know I stretched my front line too thin in the previous video. Uh, we're gonna try not to do that again here. Um, what do they got? I mean, it's just a lot of spearmen. Swordsmen on the flank. Yeah, spears with swords on the flanks. Uh, a little bit of slingers. They're moving their line around a bit. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna be pretty aggressive with our cavalry here because most of this force can just kind of get swamped by cav. Um, but, well, you know, we, we have infantry, so we'll utilize them as well. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna push my infantry up the left flank. And just keep them advancing rather rapidly, and then we're gonna hit the right flank uh, with the cav and sweep down the line. Yeah, you can see they keep retreating back. Uh, they're trying to move up the hill. So we're gonna try to sway that with our cavalry here. Infantry keep moving up hard on that left flank. Yeah, let's just charge it on those swords. Infantry engage. And here we go. Oh, everyone's engaged. Swordsmen are annoyingly putting up a huge fight. Alright, alright, their flank over here is collapsing to my infantry. It's kind of a surprise, to be honest with you. Alright, let's get my pull my cav back and get a get a new charge coming in here. Alright, my infantry did a good job. Why don't we take some cavalry units? Make sure we're chasing down the routers here. Oh, some cav got caught against the swords there. Yeah, cav, we need cav chasing down those routes. Take them out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're getting good, uh, good routing now. There we go. Yeah, everyone's routing. Okay. Yeah, very, very vulnerable to cavalry army, and uh, we use that to our advantage, 100%. So we'll just uh, we'll just chase down some routers here, nice and easy. Is that my Iberians? Oh, I actually had a unit route. I didn't realize that. All right, well, nice quick chase. See if those guys can make it through. Yeah, go get them. I think that's all. That's all they have left. Yeah, there we go. All right, so got lost a little bit of experience in that Iberian infantry unit that routed, but otherwise, uh, otherwise very, uh, very successful battle. All right, so their army's done. It is gone. Let's move spy. Yeah. So we don't have any troops in this area. So we only need to worry about this side, and we can actually just immediately start advancing on that town, and and, and you know do what uh what I was what I mentioned at the beginning of the uh, video. Why don't we do that? Definitely, we'll bring our slingers with us. Um, a lot of cav here. We'll bring those with us. We might actually have to get two armies going. Yeah, why don't I do this? Let's do some quick combos. Yep. And we'll take the two Sire. units of infantry back into the city that need to be retrained. Sire. And, you know, Sire. we can take some... How much space do I have here? Five. Just move those guys in. That can be the army that marches forward, and we'll have a support force behind them. Uh, we'll do, like, these full units of, of guys and the skirmishers. Oscar, do you really hate me because of that? I mean, you know, come on. Um, get a unit of cav going. We'll retrain up some of these troops. And, uh, yeah, you can hate me for one turn. That's, that's fine. Um, not too worried about that. We'll get this army moving forward. Maybe. Yeah, let's just leave one unit there. We'll march forward with those two forces. Um, we can position our fort and do all that fun stuff. 
Uh, this guy down here, we want to build that watchtower in the area. There is the rebel force. Um, I just think I might not have enough in the form of cavalry to take it out. It's going to be a little tight. Uh, why don't we bring in two units of Numidian mercenaries. And we actually got a retinue expand. Plus one command. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um... Engage the enemy. We'll go take out that force now. Now we got a little bit of spear cab on our side as well. All right, so how do we want to play this? Uh, all right. First and foremost, let's get my men moving forward as we take a look at their line. So yeah, they got really weak. Yeah, really weak units. Uh, there's their missile cab. Um, let's try to counter their missile with my missile. Put my missile cavalry on the left flank. And then my fighting cav, my melee cav, in the center. And what we're going to try to do is try to charge two units of each melee cav into these guys, and then they should route immediately and then immediately follow up into the Peltis. Meanwhile, I want my Numidian mercs um, to try to spear out their Numidian mercenaries. So. Let's go ahead and do that. My men are charging. Midians, get in there. Yeah, we're gonna... We want to throw spears at their Numidian cavalry, please. We would love to get them to route right off the bat. There we go. They routed immediately like I planned. Now let's do their... Uh, let's go after their javelin men and whatnot. My Numidians, please chase after their Numidians. And melee, go after their javelin men. Oh, their javelin men caught some of my Numidians a little bit, but there we go, they're routing immediately. Numidians, please, come on, go hit them. They seem to be a little reluctant to move towards them. Just rather throwing at the routers. I don't know why they're not doing what I'm telling them to do, but all of a sudden now they're running out of spears. Kind of annoying. Really annoying, actually. They just they just wasted their spears doing what I you know something I'm not telling them to do, and now they're gonna get missile fire on them from the Numidians, but hopefully we can catch them. There we go. Alright, we did catch them. Uh, are they really not routed? Oh, that's a that's an issue. All right, there we go. We got him. I'm trying to just route the the whole enemy force. That's why. Oh, they didn't take a good angle. It's all right. Um, I think enough guys escaped that they might survive. Thirty-one. We will see. Hopefully not. All right. En enemy army did route. Retinue expands. Plus one command when fighting against rebels. Trade increase. Superior commander. Alright. We can combine that into one unit and disband the other. And then, um... Yeah, I do want to take this guy and, you know, get, uh... A, maybe an army moving this direction. Um... We can bring some reinforcements, maybe, from up here in Carthage. Uh, this for oh, this fleet is also fully recovered. So let's go and take out some of these Julii guys that are that are sitting around everywhere. Okay, we weren't able to get to them. Uh, let's get these six units here um, immediately up into the Italian theater. Hi, my lord. Tarnto made happy. We can drop the tax rate a click. Um. And then this fleet, it's good. Let's get the Cretans on it. Cretan archers in place. Let's uh, drop off the Diplo. I just want map info. Updated map info, please. Their offers. We will give 90 Dinari. No, no, no. I want map information also. I mean, okay, I guess I'll take that money, sure, whatever. Kind of weird. 
but we can do a little bit of scouting here with uh with him anyway. But in the fleet, yeah, we're gonna we want to get these Cretans up to the uh, Italian theater as well. Um, sweet. All right. So over here, yeah, these troops are in position where I want them to be. Uh, we have yeah, Cordoba is just city is just so unhappy always. I mean. We'll drop the tax rate to keep them happy, but they are just such a pain now. Uh, we can do a little sewers there, why not? Uh, oh, I forgot about these guys. Totally forgot about these guys. Um, and this fleet had an army on it. Totally forgot about these guys. Alright, army, drop off. Navy, you're going to go pick them up. Next turn, this army, yeah, you'll move on and take out those rebels, and then you can move north into the fight. That's Bulmacar's force. These guys here, do I want to pick up a Libyan mercenaries? I mean, they're not that good. We don't need them. Um, yeah, we don't need them at all. Okay, so glad I remembered them before it became just completely too late. Uh, you guys, we're going to get you moving toward Lepsis Magna. Um, yeah, I mean, I would love to, like, get some legit troops, you know, for this uh, push over towards the east. We don't really have that for the time being. Um, the next level temple there. Do another unit of those guys. And yeah, I think we're going to need just some general uh, public order troops My and niche. elephants. Like I said, I would move up north to Capua. Uh, and we'll keep you moving north. Um, Forces here, yeah, plenty infantry training in. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, we did, yeah, we did lose our assassins. So that's kind of a huge pain, but we'll make it work. And our usual check no more Cretans yet. Back in the settlement you go. Uh, we'll get another ship over here. And, um, yeah. Solid spot for the end of the turn. Where's my spy that was over here? Is he in with the army? I definitely had a spy over here. Maybe he died. Uh, not 100% sure. We also don't need all these troops um, here anymore. Although we are able to retrain all of them here. So I'm actually going to next turn. I'm going to wait. We're going to do some retraining. We can do a little bit of a... A little bit in the way of... Um, Combinations here. Orders? Gets uh, you know some of these some of these troops, uh, so it's less to retrain. Um, Sire. Yeah. Just don't want to lose any units Orders? if I can help it. That should be. My liege. That should be fine. Just, yeah, retraining. It looks like there's some. Uh, we have a blacksmith here, or like the equivalent. We do. We do have a blacksmith. So there's going to be retraining for that reason, too. So we'll, we'll... I forgot to retrain this turn, but we'll retrain there next turn. You know what? Actually, maybe we don't need any more of these guys for the time being. Let's take that off. Uh, let's use that money to retrain. I don't want to waste a whole turn of not retraining here. Yeah, you see now with that money, now we can finish the retraining next turn. Uh, and then we can get these units moving north as well, uh, as we hopefully won't really need them in Spain anymore. So uh, that's very nice. Um... My yeah. Alright. Let's see what happens next turn. Oh my god. Okay. Two two full Julii armies. They got sick of they got sick of sending one army at a time at me. And decided that they're gonna go ahead and send two. So that's a pretty bold and uh, I'd say effective strategy. Um Rome's under siege, which means we lose a lot of its income, which makes sense. Uh, they got... What do we have here? We got one army. It's a, just kind of a hodgepodge. They got some dogs. They got a ballistas. They got a few units of Stadi and Principes. Some archers. Some spear throwers. It's really just kind of a mix of everything. And then this force is the same thing, except a little heavier with the dogs and the cab and the spears and less infantry. Um, Sire. Yeah, honestly, it's a bit of a tough spot. Well... Because, like, fighting two AI armies at once, like, 
this large, I can only I can't control two full armies of my own at once, you know. So it, it kind of puts me at a disadvantage. Um, first and foremost, we got to finish these this retraining over here. We'll repair the walls as well, and uh, this has a port. Oh, all the way over there. Wow. Uh, why don't we do another unit of the cav additionally? Uh, and then here up in Noska, we'll do another unit of the cav as well. These guys, okay, there is a full Britain army that's making its way toward that city. Uh, why don't we get some eyes on it? By the way, there was my spy. Completely, completely forgot about them. Um, yeah, full Britain army, fully mustered up. Um, but we can move to here this turn, I would say. Yeah, we'll have some reinforcements behind this force. I mean, we could, I mean, if we really wanted to, I guess we can't build a fort, but uh, I thought we could. Anyway, maybe next turn. Yeah, Britons, they're just, they're powerful. No doubt about that. Uh, Alright, down here in Africa. You guys continue moving over, please. Um, this fleet. Continue moving up. Uh -oh. We got stuck by a Julii fleet. I won't be able to help them out this turn. Let's see if I can beat them. Close victory. Right, we did get the win. So we're going to pass the uh, the Julii fleet that turn. These guys... Let's drop off our army and go and uh, help them. I hope we're close enough. Um, yeah, these guys, we got to move them north ASAP. So I want all that good cab as well. And those Libyans. Yeah, these cities aren't going to like me as much because I just moved out a lot of their troops, but uh, that is, it is what it is. These troops are needed in the fight, so they can continue moving north. This is a pretty nice force. Um, yeah, we also, I mean, like again, I could sally out. I could try to play a defensive fight. I probably will need to attack. Um... So we'll just basically we'll take everyone we can here. Capua, you're gonna have to just, just be okay with me for a turn. I mean, honestly, like I'm about to, I'm about to literally take everybody from the settlement up to the fight for Rome. Yeah, Capua, you're gonna drop all the way down. Why don't we get the large temple ball going for you guys? Additionally, let's train up. Troops, more troops always here in Italy. I mean, we could literally attack them right now and just do a stupid large fight. Uh, and I mean, it's going to be stupid large. Um, geez, yeah, this is just going to be a slog. Whoa, 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 what? No reinforcements from the city? What? Alright, for some reason I don't get any reinforcements from the city. In this fight, the whole army in the city does not come in as reinforcements. Um, annoying. Okay, it's because this army is the one that has a city under siege. I mean, if I attack them... There we go. Okay, we do get our army. Uh, yes, we gotta let that be controlled by the AI, otherwise we're not gonna be uh, fighting with them on the battlefield. And let's do, I mean, look at this. Three, a 4,000 plus man battle. Let's go. Await my orders. Okay. Enormous fight. Look at their bulk of cav. Yeah, huge fight. Um... We'll definitely position our Cretans up on the wall. I think they'll be in range. On fire. Well, um, I mean, I could use the city to my advantage here. Like, it, it's a tough decision, right? Because on one hand, I would love to fight their armies separately. Like, you know, take out one, then fight the other one. But on the other hand, I'd also love to get my other army in as reinforcements, which I believe will be coming from this direction, and I think their reinforcements be coming from this direction, so I could run my men into the city. Um, I mean, this is, like, 
Like this army, uh, you know, I should I, I should be able to beat them one on one. I just let's just see how this uh, let's see how this starts. Yeah. So there's my AI army, and I I just I can't rely on them coming to my aid quickly or smartly. Uh, more importantly, because they are AI controlled. And here's the other AI army, um, which I don't want to have to take on on a two and one. So what I'm going to do. We're going to take all of our cav. And we're going to pull them outside the city. We're going to get them out here on the right flank. And we are going to do our best with them. Libyan spearmen. Skirmishers. Phalanx. On our way. Standard formation. The troops have arrived on the battlefield! Send them to the point of crisis! We're gonna just get everybody outside the city. Uh, whoa, what? I put the archers up on the walls! What the heck happens? These archers don't want to move, huh? Alright, I would love to not have some troops that are bugging out. It's my game's lagging a bit, and honestly, it seems like there might be some uh, some bugging out troops here. Not a hundred percent sure what's going on, but uh, some of these troops, yeah, just don't want to move where I'm telling them to. Um, I'm gonna need that to change real quick here. They're trying to link up armies. It looks like. Smart decision and something I'm gonna try to stop them from doing, at least to a pretty certain extent, as much of an extent as I can. Yeah, the archer is not starting up on the walls. Hugely frustrating. Oh boy. Alright, they're coming back. Cavalry consolidate, please. Come on, guys. Let's all get there. All right, there they go again. Let's charge in the Prince of Pace. Cavalry, you're gonna have to do a lot of work here. And uh, not be idiots and run where I'm not telling you to run. Let's go, everyone hit it once, please. Come on, guys. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really laggy. I mean, there's no doubt that, uh... Alright, we got two units down. Yeah, there's no doubt that this is a bit of a, uh, a lag fest with how many troops are on the field. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna wipe out as many of these guys as we can. Please go take them out. And, uh, yeah, the a they are, AI are rather smartly linking their troops together. Uh, Cretans, why don't you move down the wall? Please. And thank you. We are trying to take out as many of these infantry blocks as we can, these infantry units, before they're able to fully block, uh, fully come together. And then link up forces. Come on, guys. Routes, routes. 30, you guys have lost half your unit. Come on. Alright, we're gonna pull these guys back. No, pull them back. Uh, yeah, pull them back to my lines, please. Come on, go! Go, 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 go! See, this is what... It's like, a, it's because like it's a big... It doesn't know what's going on. Like, half my units are just not responding to what I'm telling them to do. So frustrating. I'm gonna get everyone moving this way. 
Like, I would really love not to lose these generals this fight, but I mean, if they're not going to move where I'm telling them to move, we're going to have some issues here. Like, look, they're just all standing still. It's like it doesn't know how to, it doesn't know how to manage this many units at once, you know? Units, please reposition back here. No, back here. Come on. See, look, they're just, they're just units. They just stop running. They're just standing all over the place. Taking missile fire, not moving. I mean, it's ridiculous. All right, generals, at the very least, you're coming back. I mean, if my if my guys aren't look at this, they're just all standing around now. Then the cavalry's getting picked off one by one. Yeah, now they're all gonna start routing. I mean, it's it's just complete like the game that can't handle this many guys at once. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate, but that's what it is. All right, Cretans, if you guys want to start firing, you know that'd be that'd be great. Let's start firing your shots here. There we go. Yeah, it's like it's like it's too many guys for the game to know how to handle, so it just it just they just stop moving. Alright, we got some of them back. Come support the generals, please. And what do we got here? Some equites. I mean they're pretty vulnerable. We can go take them out with our generals. Um Right, we're gonna set up the long phalanx there. Go take out those war dogs. There we go. Those equites are down. See, look, their guys linked up super quick. Look at my AR army. Look at this. What, what the heck are they doing? They're just standing over here. Ugh. No, spearmen, come back. Come on, guys, can we really not take out these dogs here? Like, no one is doing what I'm telling them to do. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a shit show. It's a complete shit show. No one's doing what I'm telling them to do. Generals, oh my god, no. Hey, these Cretans, though, they're putting in work, huh? Kill them! Stay on those Astati if you can. All these men in guard mode. You guys, just halt and just start firing at will, please, and thank you. I would love some of my AI reinforcements, that'd be great. But it doesn't seem like they're going to join this fight. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We can uh, hold that front a little bit. Like, look at it. Look how, look how delayed their reaction is. No, come back to the line, please. Actually, go hit the... Actually, just, just stay out there. Go hit them. Boy, what a mess, huh? Infantry, go forward. There's a general. Why don't we charge in on those equites? Actually, hold up. You guys move out to the flank, please. Libyans, go right into the center. You guys all 
all on that Roman general. Again, still no help from my... Still no help whatsoever from my, uh... Reinforcements. Come on, guys, your spears. Go take out the Roman general. Alright, we got a lot of guys routing. Why don't we go after those principes? I mean, we're, I think we're gonna win this fight, but, like, it's just a mess. Dogs are hitting my calf. Tell those guys to go after the dogs. Really? We haven't gotten that general yet? Oh, come on, these guys got a route. There we go. Still no help from reinforcements. Uh, turn to hit the Velites. Alright, let's go after that Roman general, take him out. Come on, we gotta get that guy. Yeah, there, a lot of these troops still aren't routing. There we go. Alright, now come back here. All infantry. Form up. All my men. Everybody re just retreat back. Archers. Oh, they're out of ammo. It's okay. Just, you guys can just stay up on the wall, though. Please take out these dang dogs. Oof. You guys, get back here. Yeah, we gotta take out these dang dogs. They're really good against Cav, which is why I would prefer not to do it with the Cavalry. But that's why they're chasing the Cavalry. I mean, look at these guys. Come on. Can we... Can we just take them out, please? There we go. Can you guys get that dog? Thank you. Alright, we got some units coming back. These guys over here are either... I mean, my AI is doing nothing. They're, they're retreating out. That's... Alright. Let's just... Let's take our cab and chase down the rat remaining of these guys... Remainder of these guys here. No, 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 no. Oh, God, they ran right through the spears. That's super annoying. Alright. Some annoyances this fight. Particularly with the lack of... I mean, what the heck is this AI doing the whole time? Like, look at this. Look at all these guys. They've done nothing. They've just been circling over here. I mean, if you're gonna have an AI-controlled army, can we, can we please get them to, like, at least come help? You know? I mean, there's no reason that all this cavalry shouldn't be running down these guys here. I mean, look how many men escaped just running right past where this whole force, they should have easily been able to get there. And I wouldn't be complaining, I wouldn't be complaining about the AI so much if the, um, if, you know, like the computer AI didn't do so well, like, working in tandem. I mean, the computer AI, like, immediately tried to join their armies and fight together, and... You know, my AI army just, you know, went off and did nothing. I mean, zero kills. Um, they just, yeah, they got some cardio in. But hey, we got the big win. That's a huge win. Victory is ours, huge, huge win. Alright. Trade increase, great commander. Yes, and I think that was, uh, that's well deserved. Way to go, Diegis. The honest with great commander. Um, yeah, immediately retrain the troops in the city. Uh, no doubt we got some, uh, you know, pretty significant losses. Um, cannot train up a Pueni. We, we actually get, we'll, we'll, we'll step out of one. Yeah, we want to make sure we can train up the Pueni infantry. And, um... Mighty general. Mighty general. Yeah, we'll just get... How, how, wait, how many men can I move into the city? Six? Alright, we'll get six of our most full units here. Sire. Sire. 
public order reasons. Get in the room. Cool. Alright, well that was a slog of a fight, but again, once again, we defended Rome. Um, so nice, that's a, that's a success in my mind. Uh, and you know, we have a lot of troops training up here again in the Italian peninsula. So, um, yeah, troop movement's pretty much where I want it. Uh, oh, we actually had a rebel force pop up here, so before I ferry these guys over, why don't we go do a bridge battle against those, uh, those rebels there. Bridge battles are always a good time. Let's get my, my guys here. Yeah, they're gonna make us come across, and, you know, rightfully so. Move across my Peltus. Get my, uh... Alright, they're gonna come and hold the bridge, huh? Alright, let's hold up a second. I mean, this is just a bunch of peasants in a general. But, you know, my peasants are gonna need cavalry support coming across, or my Peltus, sorry. Why don't we move one unit on bridge? You guys can get in the position. But let's get my war cab across. They'll basically be my front line. And yeah, we'll try to we'll get we'll get these guys starting their way across, but let's get yeah, we'll get my war cavalry across first. Well, sorta of first. You guys please get in the position. War cavalry in front of you is a front line. Maybe we can get these guys out on the flank. Yeah, we'll let everyone cross here. What do they have here? Javelin men? Right. Yeah, these guys just start, yeah, start peppering some throws in. Use your mobile advantage, absolutely. Get these guys. Go and war, war cab. Go hit the left flank. You guys, why don't you move forward and go hit their javelin men? All right, we got the routes. Let's pull back out. Halt there and fire will, please. Yeah, get some nice spear throws in. Go take out the general. Everyone else take out the javelin men. Just rain, rain fire on them, please. Come on, guys. We got the general. There we go. Boom. All right. Nicely done. Let's go chase down routers. You guys can stop. Uh, you guys... Go hit the javelin, man. Oh, wait, they actually had a bunch of troops come back. Alright, pull out of there, pull out of there. Alright, now they're routing again. Just get out of there. I don't want to lose you any more than we already have. You guys, on the other hand. Yeah, you guys, I want you firing at them. Got a little missile battle going here. There we go. Boom. You guys can come back. General, and you go hit them. Wait, you, you got them the route. It's perfectly done. And we can fast forward. As enemies, these men yeah, are that'll perfect. be it. They are running from the battle in terror. And maybe we catch those guys? No, no we don't. That's okay, I think they only have like 10 guys left. Four guys left, yeah, okay. Should be a... Uh... Yeah, should be a, a goner. Yep, Victory there we go. Trade increase, we got another command star. And uh, personal security and valor general's bodyguards. Nice. So, why don't you... Hop on the fleet. And the fleet has no movement points left after that, okay. And you guys... Let's go take out that long-awaited opportunity to finally get rid of those rebels. Bunch of battles back-to-back -back here. 
Oh, the rebels actually set up in front of me. What do you know? Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, this is a this is a cavalry fight if I've ever seen it. You guys hit them. You guys hit them. You guys hit the right side. Left side. Oh, the units run. And we'll let this one happen. Yeah, these rebel, you know, these rebel forces, they just can be taken out with uh, with cabs so easily because they're always like peltists and peasants, and, you know, easy, easy units to, to wipe. Like you see how they just rout immediately. I mean, it's just they just melt down, and then they have like their general's bodyguard. But you have such a heavy bulk of cavalry that it's not, you know, it's not a huge threat. Now you just swarm them. Yeah, see, they're already routing too. All right, why don't we get you guys, go take out the peasants. There's their general down. Take out their peasants. You guys take them out. Yeah. And that'll be that. Cool scene, though. Right on the right on the coastline, you know? Cool spot for a battle. And that's a clean wipe. Very quick, very clean. Get them out of there. All right, so that's uh, that did our job. These men can begin a march north. What do we have, mercenaries? No, nothing really worthwhile. Um, these guys are pretty set up for next turn, and uh, yeah, so set up in this region. Africa region is doing what I wanted to do. We'll start moving troops this direction very soon. Italian region, we fended off the biggest Julii threat we've had yet this campaign, and. Um, yeah, all right, so I think that's a good place to stop the video. We, it's, it's been a good amount of time. Uh, thank you all for watching. As always, if you made it this far and you enjoyed, you know, leave a like, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. And um, yeah, as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode. Have a good one.